now that we've got the carbon filters online, we've got our spinner pump program at 60 seconds, 100%. We're going to test, I'm just running some water down, and then here in a moment, we'll grab a sample of water. And what we're going to look for is bubbles in the water. We've got it outlined in the manual as the bubble method. You're just looking for free oxygen past the injection point. We don't have a cup, but I've taken a water bottle and cut the top off. It's the best we can do right now. And that's pretty milky looking. Not sure how well you can see. But if you watch it, it dissipates, and you'll see it rise from the bottom to the top. It tells us we've got plenty of peroxide going in, and we can dial it back. Yeah, so you can see all the bubbles sitting on the side. Now, since this is a pretty large home, Charlie's inside in the mechanical room. So rather than running back and forth, we'll just give him a call. Hey, we've got plenty of bubbles here. You can drop it back down. Maybe go 20 seconds, 70%. Okay, you're on 70%, 20 seconds. So right now, I've, we dialed it back to 20 seconds, 70% I believe is where we're at. I've got this bib running and one on the other corner of the house. In this case here, you draw a sample and you can see the bubbles dissipate relatively quickly. We'll try and capture it. You know, so you've got some bubbles. It's not quite that Alka-Seltzer look that we had before where it was really milky and, and rising or dissolving from the bottom up. Most likely we'll make a return trip here in a week or two and uh, and revisit the, the injection rate, but for right now I'm pretty satisfied with how this is turning out. That should be your target.